Another move that happened this week, and this one I actually am very excited for. Uh, I've been calling for this move to happen pretty much since the season ended. Um, really ratcheted that up when the Bills did bring back Jordan Phillips. And that was the signing of Shaq Lawson coming back on another one-year deal. And look, again, for me, is this the sexiest move? No. Uh, am I expecting Shaq Lawson to you know, take another step from last year? No. I, we know who Shaq Lawson is in the league. Uh, I'm not expecting him to come in this year with something to prove and get 15 sacks. Um, what makes me so excited about this move is continuing to establish the floor of of what we expect out of the defensive line. And going back to last season, Von Miller goes down with an injury. Um, you just have this myriad of, of investments that you've made at the position. You have a second rounder in A.J. Epinesa, second rounder in Basham, first rounder in Greg Rousseau. And then, granted, Shaq Lawson himself is a first-round pick. Um, obviously a little bit longer in the tooth, but when Von Miller goes down, it was Shaq Lawson that came in and and was the starter opposite of Greg Rousseau. Um, so that tells me a ton about not only where our draft picks are and were at the time, uh, but what Shaq Lawson brings to the defense, what the coaching staff feels about him establishing on defense. Uh, he's great in, in run defense. He's great at setting the edge. Uh, you rarely see situations where, you know, he's blown his assignment. He gets sucked too far inside. Um, he, he's really good in those outside runs of keeping the run inside him, forcing the running back to cut back upfield and let our linebackers make the tackles. Um, so for me, all last year, I think we got this this consistently um, level, good play from Shaq Lawson. And I've been waiting for this move to happen um, because it just makes sense for so many reasons. Uh, he's played his best football with Buffalo. He had a good year last year. He's comfortable with the team, his teammates, the coaching staff, the organization. And yeah, could you have brought in another similar player to do similar things and have it be a different name. Sure. Uh, but bringing him back on just a dirt cheap one year contract um, to reestablish that floor, uh, especially while, while Von Miller's out for, you know, who knows how long of the season um, just makes a ton of sense to me. And the other reason I really like this move is, it, it doesn't have to change uh, what your lineup looks like if you do get a leap in play from AJ Epinesa, if you get a leap of play from Boogie Basham. Am I over here overly optimistic that these two are going to set the world on fire this year? Not necessarily, but there's still young players that were developing, and we've especially with Epinesa toyed with his body weight and where they want him playing in, you know, slim down, bulk up, um, just kind of having that consistency and a regular off season. I think that it's not out of the realm of the possibility for either of these players to make a jump, possibly both. Um, but if that happens, like, okay, then, Let's say they both develop and become who you thought you were getting in the draft. Cool. Shaq Lawson can kick down to defensive end four, and that's a hell of a good defensive end four, and you'll be psyched that the other two took steps, and he doesn't cost you much to be there. Um, I think he's a great locker room guy. He's been a great team guy, um, and just personally a player that I love, and again, uh, not a world burner, not somebody that's going to take the league by storm right now, but really help set up a baseline for what this defense can look like next year. 